Have you ever wondered what it's like to work at a popular, non-fungible token marketplace? Well, imagine being part of a team that experiences the highs and lows of the ever-changing crypto world. One day, you're riding the wave of success, and the next, you're faced with tough decisions that could impact the future of the company. That's exactly what happened at OpenSea, the largest NFT marketplace, when its co-founder and CEO, Devin Fincer, made a shocking announcement. In a tweet, he revealed that OpenSea was given letting go of half of its staff. The news sent shockwaves through the crypto community, leaving many wondering what had led to this drastic decision. According to Finzer, OpenSea was embarking on a new journey, creating a foundation for OpenSea 2.0. This meant restructuring the company and making some difficult choices along the way. In his tweet, Finzer acknowledged that OpenSea had been seen as a follower rather than a leader in the industry, and that was not the image they wanted to in matter of. The affected employees were not left empty-handed, though. OpenSea ensured that they would receive four months of severance pay and other benefits. The company also revealed its plans to create a flatter organization with fewer middle managers. This shift aimed to foster a direct connection with users and pave the way for innovation. Uh, this wasn't the first time OpenSea had to make tough decisions. Uh, back in July 2022, uh, the company had already let go of 20% uh, of its staff due to the impact of uh, the crypto winter. The NFT market, which had once been booming, has started losing steam as cryptocurrency prices fell. OpenSea, like many other NFT marketplaces, had to navigate through these challenging times. Uh, to make matters worse, OpenSea faced backlash when it considered removing creator royalties. Artists protested against this move, highlighting the importance of fair compensation for their work. It was a reminder that the NFT market, once hailed as a revolutionary asset class, needed to address its flaws and ensure a sustainable future. And a recent report by Dap Gamble shed light on the state of the NFT market. It revealed that a staggering 95% of NFTs owned by over 23 million investors had no value at all. High-value NFT assets were incredibly rare, with less than 1% having a price tag of over $6,000. Additionally, a whopping 79% of all NFT collections remained unsold. And the report emphasized the high-risk nature of the NFT market and the need for careful due diligence before making any purchases. So it was a stark reminder that the initial excitement surrounding NFTs had given way to a more cautious approach. Uh, so what does the future hold uh, for OpenSea uh, and the NFT market as a whole? Uh, only time will tell. Uh, as the industry continues to evolve, companies like OpenSea will need to uh, adapt and find new ways to stand out. Perhaps with the right strategies and innovations, they can bring back the excitement and value that once captivated the world. Uh, and now for a lighthearted moment. Why did the NFT go to therapy? Because it had an identity crisis. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.